And from the water behind the bonfire, a figure rises up. And because I love the archetype, it is a wizened, gnarled thing. Uh, with the fluidity of water, but the stiffness of something that is cold. And it inches forward, and there's a voice that comes through, and it sounds melodious and clear and joyous. <laughs> so contradictory to what it looks like. Yeah. <clears throat> I bow. You kill my raptors. Mm. took the herb that I have protected, and you dare to address me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm impressed. And like, he reaches the hand forward, and you see him grab the offering, except it's not really the offering anymore? The essence of the offering. You're the only one with words to describe what you're seeing. Ambrosia! No, really. <laughs> But, no, you're probably the essence of the offering. Oh, oh. There wasn't enough to coalesce. There Damn it! Watch there. Damn. Um. Why? Why am I not going to just kill you right now? We are humble chefs who were sent here to retrieve the herb without being told. Whom this... Anger to the law is no excuse. It is not. <laughs> However, we can deliver on to you he who would have had others defile. Ah, are you going to try and make a bargain attempt? Yes, because I don't have the social skills not to. Can I... You, you might want to let the baker yeah. have it. Feel <laughs> <laughs> no free to say it. it! Be like, get out you of here, Jarrett! Yeah. Well, no, wait, no, like, wait, like, I could see the process <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait, I think I have skills for this. Hold on! I was literally stalling until somebody jumped in and just went, Get out of here, giant! No, dog! Stop <laughs> it! <coughs> so, I'll, I'll step in and start talking to this. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, We can offer you, and you're like, Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg! Thank you! Um, you yeah! Us all killed. That's okay. You really got us all killed. <laughs> <laughs> we were under false intention. By meaning of, we, we didn't exactly know what we were getting into when we came. We didn't know of the place, we didn't know what type of place this was. Um, but when we got here, is kind of how we found ourselves here. Hmm. For lack of better words. So, sorry, sorry, advice for the audience at home. Feeling kind of <laughs> Speaking to the audience, totally not directing the attention of the players. <laughs> Best way to approach a unfamiliar and potentially dangerous social situation, from my perspective, uh, is generally to begin with a read motivations. Know what your opponent oh. wants and where they're coming from. Okay. Uh, I actually think B might be better at that, but I don't remember who's got which dice pools. Um, um, what what is that? Read motivations is manipulation plus socialize and the target's guile. Oh. I botched. You have one. Did you really? Yes. I have seven. Wow. That's an achievement, not botches. <laughs> I mean, it really is? That but I'm is. like, oh, the worst. Oh, the this worst. Is, this is not a botch. Okay, good. I mean, you guys are all welcome to roll, but you do have limited ability to communicate. So yeah. I'm, We're not going to, like, yeah. put them off to the side and whisper to each other. No. 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 <laughs> That's not a good idea right now. Small guy wants the head of the guy who hired us. Um, no, he's, he's actually, like, he's just playing hard to get. He actually wants to give you a blessing. That's why he's contradictory things right now. Alright. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's safe. We're it's safe. fine. We're safe. <laughs> we're safe. That's safe, never. 
What do you like about them? Yeah, sure, why not? What could go wrong? Oh, I might as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Has she been rolling all of her dice at once? Yes, yes. she has been. Okay. Dick she face. actually has a socialized pool. Dick face. Who? Seven. One success. Well, <laughs> Three dice. Like, oh, it makes a difference. <laughs> no. What? It makes a difference. You've noticed that in the past two times you've said otherwise. Yes, I have, but the last few times I didn't have a little dice rollery thing, and doing it one at a time helped me keep track of the dice on the table full of shit. Now with the dice roller, she can do it. No, I, love you. I love you, Jeff, <laughs> As much as I flip you off. But I will do it to your face. Oh yeah, by the way, Jeff. Yeah. This is how we say hello. <laughs> Shut up, Kyle! <laughs> Birdies for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Two raptors! <laughs> Shut up, Kyle! <laughs> you're always no the way. border. Who the it doesn't no matter what that. you do, you're still the border. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, the porter earned his keep this week. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do the smart thing and just hobble back to the cart and just lay on it. <laughs> I wouldn't do I wouldn't I just do can't that. turn my back and walk away from this small guy. No. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Like, <laughs> What? One? I think so. The small guy like seven. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, one. Two. Well, yeah. I'm right. sure the bandages are red already. <laughs> okay, well, so seeing the, the fact that the small guy doesn't have a clearly discernible face at this moment, Hmm. Eh. So and no one knows what the fuck. Well, if there's a good chance I'm probably still drunk. I do. I'm probably drunk for that. <laughs> That's right. You do know. Oh God. Never say. He wants us to show that we're respectful and afraid. But he wants to give us a lesson. But you can't really communicate that. No worries. Um. So. This is where things get hard. Assuming your first read motivations fails, uh, stalling for time is a really good tactic. Promise nothing, give nothing. Demand nothing. Mm -hmm. Get right there. Anyways, so, Craig. <clears throat> what, what was the last thing you said, or what would you like to be the last thing you said? Okay, so, we came here knowing of an oasis, which seems normal for a desert. But when we got here, we quickly found out that this was um, hidden by certain forces. Um, <clears throat> certain forces by a diplomatic. <laughs> <Love this place. laughs> Raptors out of nowhere. <clears throat> Yeah, well, we were ambushed, and in, yes, that's generally why one keeps the boss <laughs> yeah. they're good at that, <laughs> we, um, in self-defense, <laughs> it may not have seemed like it, but in self-defense, we um, protected our own, and protected what we came for. Which is my problem? That is what it seems to be. Mm. Well, nothing if not office. Um. <laughs> um. Tactics for when you don't know an opponent's intimacy and don't have time to find out. Mm. Instill still one of your choosing and then manipulate that one. So the action to instill an intimacy is presence plus uh, charisma manipulation or appearance. Okay. However you choose to run it. Okay. Um, that is it. One of those you're rolling whatever's best, but it doesn't matter how you describe it. That is one of those things that is dependent on how you describe it and how you approach it. Oh. Okay. Um. um so I would say sincerity would be charisma. Sincerity is charisma. Manipulation is deceit, lies, trickery, omissions. Um, appearance is I'm pretty. <laughs> Use your uh, sex appeal. <laughs> Just do a, a small guy. Fine. Do a small guy. <laughs> Who knows? It may be female. Yeah. Uh, does that matter? No idea. You have no idea. Uh, what my character does. Uh, it doesn't matter for the opposite. So I guess it does. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a small guy. Yeah, the small guy doesn't may or may not have a gender. 
preference. Yeah, and may or may not have a preference. Yeah, yeah. Um, just however, clean. Greg is the player, so Greg's comfort level is what determines what happens yeah. in the scene. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm I'm fine with either, but I mean, yeah. it's. I'm reinforcing that for the audience as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Red rule. <laughs> um. So yes, so you decide, and the stunt is then based on that as well. Mm -hmm. What sort of emotion you are instilling, in, or what sort of intimacy you are instilling in uh, the opponent, what sort of emotional context you want them to have. How do you, Social combat 101. How do you instill, like, how do you stunt that? Conversational stunt. Ooh, tricky. Yes, conversational stunts are tricky, um, especially if your player is not good with conversation. Yeah. <laughs> um, would stunting uh, mannerisms, idiosyncrasies of um, communication and intent work as a stunt in place of uh, role playing communication? If you want to rely on a dice roll, plus to communicate for this, what's actually how effective it's set. Yes, I think I think because I think I actually know what you're asking, but uh, yes, a description then um, failing. Your desire or ability to role play the conversation. Um, a description of your tactics, uh, and thus a stunt worthy description of your tactics would be an appropriate uh, way to stunt or to include a stunt into an action such as this. Okay. So instead of basically anything that isn't, I instill an intimacy of X in him. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little bit better than that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How you're using, you know, or or at more accurately, I instill X in him using appearance plus whatever, mm -hmm. or appearance plus presence. I'm gonna. That would be your basic dice roll. That's the point where I have to say, okay. <laughs> you get a zero dice stunt. Yeah. Or a zero point stunt. Um, about yourself. But describing then how your appearance contributes to that emotional state. Okay. Would be an appropriate stunt. Or worthy of a stunt, even though you're not actually role playing. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. So I'll <clears throat> tentatively walk closer. Okay. Um, Dangerous. Yeah, that's why it's tentative. <laughs> um, I mean, he's late. I'm sure going to. Late. Are we still wearing the shawl? Yeah, the desert. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Stop. slowly Stop. unwrap my shawl. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! 18 plus rating kids! Look away! And, um, basically offer myself. <laughs> you are instilling an intimacy of. Um, desire? His desire, yeah. Alright. His dick. Alright. Womp womp. The baker is selling himself to pay your bills. Yes! <laughs> That's what we've come to! <laughs> we All thought this. we were gonna be going home without. Uh, you know, Sage, but apparently we're like, oh, yeah. you. <laughs> All this I'm Oh, we don't know that I'm not like... <laughs> no. Permanently. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so, Alright, yeah. appearance plus presence. Okay. Uh, you get two dice and one success. Okay. So it's two dots then. Um... Appearance is four, presence is three. I am of the school for my players and audience that I will not tell you if an opponent is using resolve or guile or what the target number is or this or the other. Um, as one of the options in the book, however, the book also, the core rule book for the audience at home, does actually mention that exalt is meant to be transparent. So take this as being in the minority. Uh, in general, if you're running by the book. Um, I hate that phrase. Then <laughs> the the actual intent from the developers is that your storyteller is transparent with resolve numbers and guile numbers and one they get used and one when one gets used as opposed to the other. Um, I prefer the lack of transparency when it comes to social combat, simply because I appreciate that as a player, and so it's going to come out as a storyteller. Cool. So you're rolling against an invisible number and you don't know whether it's could be sweet. However, since you've changed the field, you'll get another read motivation. Or you can take another read motivation to see. Okay. This was a sick. Buy the book sucks too when the book can kill you. 
Self-defense 101. Self Start it. Eight. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got eight. Oh my god. Boosh. <laughs> you love me. Oh, oh no, no, nine. I got uh, the, the one success. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Excellent. So, you have altered the, or you've instituted a rule that has potentially altered the field. Anyone can now roll rebound motions to see if it has changed, if he's taken the bait, or Conversely, to see what his new motivation for the scene is, if it's still. Okay. Throw it loose. Roll again. Manipulation plus supplies. Crap. Two. Two. <laughs> I got one success. You're one no botch. Yay! <laughs> you should maybe stop rolling. You're gonna fuck everything up. <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> 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 oh From the cart. He wants you to suffer! <laughs> Zero. Did you get it? You roll your one. Yep. Oh, oh god damn it. Yes. Why is every roll? That's a nine. That's a nine. That's a nine. Oh my god, I freaking hate this shit. <laughs> what? It, the dot or line is always on the bottom. Yeah, I don't always. Know why. Every that was time. always confused me for some fucking reason. 100% always on the bottom. It's 100% garbage. The point, the point is always the top. What? I rolled zero. <laughs> Did you roll No. The no. point is always the top. No, I think it's dust. It's a zero. Ten. Oh, ten. Oh, ten. Oh, ten. Oh, ten. Two successes. I got two successes. So I got one. Not a botch. Right. Not a botch. Not a botch. Woo! Oh. Nine. Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> I got two successes. Nine successes. Nine, Nine successes on this still. Excellent. So, yeah. Um. Oh, yes, you, you unwrap your face and you approach. The spirit kind of straightens up. <laughs> oh, oh, you have a face under there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rest of the You are quite pretty. <laughs> this is the part where you would then persuade oh. using that intimacy that you just instilled okay. in order to get an allowance of some kind or get something from them. Okay. Get the blessing, group me right. <laughs> now, here's the difference. Persuade is let me do this because of your emotions. Right. Bargain is let me do this because I'll give you this. Okay. Threaten this, do this, or I will hurt you. Or otherwise, do something you don't want me to do. Okay. Those are the three major differences. So, keep in mind what you're trying to accomplish and how you're going about it. Because if you describe, I want you to do this for me, and blah 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 blah, and in exchange I'll give you this. I'm going to treat it as a bargain action, even if you meant to persuade. Okay. Because I'm going to see that as a bargain action, and a bargain action can fail if you don't offer something of sufficient value. Right. Right. So, that's why you kind of want to be either upfront about what you are attempting, so that I can then inform you when your stunt is going off field, mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, describe and then roll what I tell you. <laughs> if you're feeling particularly wily, <laughs> that's always an option. <laughs> Can you describe persuade again? Persuade is uh, you should do this because it's part of what you stand for. Because you have an emotional investment. Because um, okay, it's something that you would actually want even if you're not willing to admit it to yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He wants you. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> it's been in this lonely, hidden oasis for so long. It's surrounded by, like, raptors. Now, Nobody I bring this up, because if you offer yourself to the spirit, mm -hmm. that's a bargain action. Oh, it is? That's no longer a persuade. Oh. You're offering sexual favors in exchange for whatever you're getting after the spirit. Hmm. You should let me do this because you're attracted to me. 